Hi, my name is Xue Tingcui. This is the title of our paper. Unite plus plus with the tension mechanism for hippocampus segmentation. Analyzing the hippocampus in the brain through MRI plays a crucial role in diagnosing and uh, making treatment decisions for several neurological diseases. Hippocampus entropy is among the most informative early diagnostic biomarkers of Alzheimer's disease. Its automatic segmentation is extremely difficult due to the lack of any contrast between its different regions. In this study, we use a well-known image segmentation model, UNITE++, and we introduced an attention mechanism, CBAM, called the Convolutional Block Attention Module to the UNITE++ model. This integrated model improves the feature weights of our region of interest hence increasing the accuracy in segmenting the hippocampus. This is an overview of my presentation. Firstly, I'm going to introduce the background issues of our papers. It's about the early diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease and the importance of hippocampus segmentation, and the current problems. Then I will introduce the data set used in this study, followed by the network structure of our proposed method, UNITE++ with CBAM, and then the loss function and the evaluation metrics. In the end are the experimental results and the related analysis. AD, Alzheimer's disease, is irreversible and can cause severe memory and behavioral problems. It will affect more people and families. Projections indicate that by 2050, more than 13.8 million people in the United States will have dementia. The studies showed that hippocampus volume is an essential quantitative indicator for Alzheimer's disease. So, correct segmentation of this region is critical to volumetric changes in the brain to diagnose early this disease. In the medical field, doctors use MRI to describe the internal structure and state of the brain to analyze brain disease. Manual segmentation requires highly trained, experienced experts and is very time consuming. And to present artificial intelligence technology plays an important role in the processing and analysis of medical images. Among various deep learning models, UNITE performs well in image segmentation, and UNITE++ performs better in the improved version. In this study, the data used for training our segmentation model were obtained from the medical segmentation decathlon challenge. The MRI provided by the dataset is T1 weighted. The region of interest was subdivided into the anterior and posterior parts of the hippocampus. Therefore, in the label image, Corresponding to MRI, there are two types of label values. In our experiments, we process the label data by merging the anterior and posterior part. 
considering them as the entire hippocampus. There were 216 brain MRIs available for this study. We divided them according to the ratio of 60% to 20% and 20%. So they were divided into 156, 52, and 52 for training, validation, and testing, respectively. Based on the traditional unit encoding and decoding U-shaped structure, unit++ introduces a series of convolutional blocks that are used to bridge the second semantic gap between the corresponding feature maps of encoding and decoding in UNIT before the feature fusion. For example, in this figure, the semantic difference between X00 and X13 is filled by the convolutional blocks between them, X01, X02, and X03. The black nodes and lines in the figure represent the original UNIT network. Its structure mainly includes the encoding part and the decoding part. First, the encoding part is formed by the arrows pointing downward starting from X00 on the left. In this part, X40 is obtained by a series of down sampling from X00. Then starting from X40, the decoding part formed by the upward arrows on the right is completed after a series of up sampling operations. The inner yellow and green parts are the added parts that make up UNIT++. For example, the yellow node X21 is obtained from X20 and X30. Node X30, after upsampling, is concatenated with X20 to serve as the input data of X21. Similarly, for X00 and X13, with X13 after upsampling being concatenated with X00 to serve as the input data of X04 in UNIT, but the features of X00 have a semantic gap with the features of X13 after going through the U shape. So, UNIT++ introduce a series of intermediate nodes between X00 and X13 to make up for this difference. In UNIT++, X13 after upsampling is concatenated with X00. X01, X02, and X03 as the input data of X04. Therefore, the semantic gap between the feature maps of X00 and X13 is bridged. We introduced attention mechanism model CBAM, convolutional block attention model, to enhance the feature map and improve semantic segmentation accuracy. The CBAM model enables the network to quickly locate the region of interest in the feature map. 
due to the small size of our images, we only introduce CBAM before the final convolution operation in decoding part. First, the feature map generated by X04 is processed by CBAM. Then, a convolution operation is performed to obtain the output result. The loss function used for our architecture is the BCE dice loss function. This loss function is a combination of the BCE, bias cross entropy, and the dice loss function. This combination overcomes the shortcomings that comes with both loss function when used separately. Because these two loss functions are very commonly used, I will not introduce them in detail. To evaluate the proposed method and compare the performance with others, we use the four standard metrics in this study. First, we use DSC, mean death similarity coefficient, to measure overlaps between the ground truth level AG and the predicted level AP. GSC, Jacquard similarity coefficient, is also called IOU, the intersection over union coefficient. That is the inter intersection of the ground truth level AG and the predicted level AP divided by their union. We also calculated the pre precision index and the recall index. These four evaluation indicators are very commonly used and will not be introduced in detail here. As shown in the table, we conducted three different experiments to assess the model's performance. In each experiment, we trained the model three times to obtain an average of the metric data. All architecture models were trained with the same data set. In the first experiment, we used the base architecture model UNIT without the CBAM. Next, we used the UNIT++ without the CBAM. Finally, we used both the UNIT++ and the CBAM. In this table, we can see that the values of the four evaluation indicators of the proposed method are all better than the other two network models. This figure shows the comparison of the segmentation results among the three models. UNIT, UNIT++, and UNIT++ with the CBAM. In the first column, we select three MRI slices of patient number 83. The second column is uh, the predicted result of UNIT. The third column is the prediction result of UNIT++. And the fourth column is the prediction result of our method, which we mark in green. The next fifth column is the manual labels drawn by the doctors. That is the ground truth which we mark in red. Finally, we superimpose the gray and the red and the overlapping parts became yellow.
representing where our model predicted correctly. This is the result of another patient. That's all for the presentation. Thank you.